And being raised in the United Kingdom as I was, I was taught by my father always that we were to demonstrate our pride in our Judaism by wearing the kippah, the skull cap, the yarmulke, but only within the four walls of our familial home. Because beyond those four walls, then as now, there was an edict issued by the chief rabbi of the United Kingdom that Jewish males were not to wear any outward symbol of their Judaism lest they should attract the unwanted attention of an anti-Semite who may or may not be walking the streets of England. If I was to show you the photographs of my family excursions, you would see that every male in my family, my father and his six sons, are wearing not yarmulkes but baseball caps, shipped to us incidentally by our family in the United States. And some of those baseball caps had the symbol of the Los Angeles Lakers on it, and some the Los Angeles Angels, and some the New York Mets, and the New York Jets, and the New York Schmetz, and one had the Chicago Cubs, and to this day I don't know to what sport any of those teams are assigned. But I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that as I look back on those photographs, I realize that actually I was wearing the first uniform I ever donned. What I was wearing was the uniform of a frightened, furtive, hidden Jew.